Christian, you made the legend mod, which was, if I'm incorrect, a boost. Yeah, it was the which boost. Which like became it... the boost, a whole new line of sweets kendamas, which at that time, sweets was on the up. And it was like, this is something that was that was different. It stood out from the sleigh dog, which people were, you know, all jazzed about, but it was a, a different style because we got the kush on there and stuff. Tell us about the birthing of that. Yeah, so I'll, I mean, this is like the decade story, I guess. I'll rewind it back to the beginning of where all that came from. Because, you know, ultimately the Bash 1 decade mod that released at no, Batch KO, Zero. Yeah, Bash Zero. That released mm-hmm. NAKO 2018. Um, that was like the first boost. Didn't have a name yet, but the first boost officially came out like a few months later. Um, but the whole idea started, um, Max and I were on the phone maybe like two years before that. Like whenever Max and I talk, we just like talk and talk and talk. And it goes on forever. But we just had a conversation. We were talking about pro models, and like what's next? Because the like the twenty eighteen, the twenty seventeen ones have been out. So this probably was twenty seventeen. Yeah, talking about like, well, yeah, what do we do next? And I was like, yeah, I think like next year's my. I've been playing Kendama for ten years. He's like, that's insane. Make a Kendama. That's a really good idea. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of it. So whoa, yeah, I went to Paulson, Matt Paulson, one of the um, co-owners of Swiss Kendamas mm-hmm. at MKO twenty seventeen. A year before release, and I just like me and him are pretty tight, and like uh, we've been good friends for a while, and make do designs together and talk about design stuff. And I went to him and said, "Hey, I'm releasing a pro model. What year? Like, let's get started." And that was kind of the conversation. This is when we all had primes, so this like prime shape was the thing we had, and it was going to be time for a new shape. Blah 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 blah. So like, hey, okay. let's make this Kandaba that new shape, whatever it's going to be. Okay, so for, for a year. We designed the boost and like the decade mod and all the what it was going to be with the wood plies and the paint and all that cool stuff. So the boost was just cool. It was the one of the first like I think mass produced canadas with a base cup hole. Like GTs did them a little bit. Um, There's probably a couple other. I'm probably getting that wrong, but it was like in my opinion the first like, really cool base cup hole because it was like rounded and like and, had like, a nice cone shape mm. to it. And it really felt like. I don't know, it just felt different, I guess. And it was <laughs> it was a really good shape. Even now, it's like we all have amps and sometimes I'll pick up a boost and like the boost still just like hits really good. Mm-hmm. You know. The funny thing about that Kandama is we I designed with, with Paulson the wood ply. Like, you know, it's like a maple spike, the Serrata's maple, Wenge Beach, and the Tama's Beach Cherry, Wenge Cherry, Walnut. That part was designed in like a day because we kind of thought about the weights and how everything would figure out and balance and that was kind of easy was but there like, testing for that yeah dude i have a lot of old samples like the f- original version instead of a wenge stripe it had like 30 percent wenge on the bottom the top 70 was i that version oh. of the beach and version of the maple all kind of different variations so we tested a lot of stuff same we with tried. the tama because i always thought that was like a really interesting thing how you almost connected like the Wang Wang Gay Win Wange. I don't know. This is I say Wang Gay. Yeah, right. Wang, do you know Gang? Is, I I've always said Wang Gay. I've heard it the called Wange a the lot. Wedgie. The, the wedgie. wedgie, the Wedgie I Wood. Feel, I, I'm feeling Smith says it right. Smith probably says it right every time. Right, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Most probably. <likely. laughs> so um, yeah, how you say that? Like it's like a coin flipping, right? Uh, it should help with the rotation. Yeah. of the Tama, and it, it, it was inspired by the Walnut Stripe. Um, like Paulson mm-hmm. had this Wana yeah. stripe kind of prototype from China. And the Wana stripe, you know, there's less weight in the middle, more weight on top and bottom. So it's just an inverse idea. But if anyone remembers like a walnut stripe, something about those like flipped better and earth turned better and just felt better. And so we always figured there was something to that. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we just thought, of, you know, the heavy stripe in the middle, get rid of everything else and put yeah. each on the bottom. Um, and that was kind of it. And then I spent like way too long figuring out how to paint it. Because I just didn't know. Like there were wine versions of it. We mocked up like, versions with like a bunch of artwork on it. Uh, versions with like you know the Enso ring, like the Japanese like single stroke. It's like the glow kit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And none of them just kind of like worked. You know, when designing a kanama and like design yeah. in general, sometimes you just know but when something works. You're like, yep, uh-huh. that's it, uh-huh. that's it, done. Um, and I had woken up one day and in my room at the time tall shelf with all my Nugans on it like the JK ones and the Musos and one of my favorite Musos is the Whiskey Musso right and I never played it because it was too pretty I didn't want to (laughs) 
So I wake up and look at that and say, huh, I always wanted to play this kendama. Why don't I just make it and then play it, you know? So yeah. then just, you know, made the thing whiskey and put the bottle tracking thing on it. And I was kind of it. And it just somehow culminated because Cooper came to Atlanta. We filmed the edit. We did it in like three or four days. And that was just a lot of fun. Did like some pretty like good tricks. Felt really satisfied. Then releasing it at MKO, turning legend. Because we figured like, you know, 10 years, like not many people had done that at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, so like just make it a thing, right? Yeah, and yeah. It just like, I guess it went well because that Kandama just like got like really sought after for a couple of years and it was, it was cool. It was something very like unexpected, you know, like Paulson and I were just trying to make a good Kandama. And I, I guess sure. that's what it means to like make a good product, right? Sure. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. don't th- you don't think about it too much. You just make something cool. Yeah. 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 But I feel like it, 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 it hit differently because it wasn't only just, Hey, here's this new shape. It was the legend mod. And I feel, was it the first within the kendama community to make like hey it's my 10 years here's an anniversary style kendama decade yeah right yeah it was the first version of that but like the 2014 pro models jeffrey and um alex their kendamas were legend kendamas they were oh okay yes 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 that's true but they were still just like another solid color true Um, i think the decade mod like the first one it was one of the most one of the first like most customized pro models in a way I think the wood, yeah. Yeah, I think that's in that and the new shape. Made in just China kind of, for sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to disrespect no, no. and no, the no, beautiful no. things they made. <laughs> I think it was just like a bunch of things at once and it, it seemed to work. And it was cool. I was, ha- yeah. I was happy with how it all turned out. Yeah. 